Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me back here in the Cold War Iron Merton mod for Hearts of Iron 4. And I'll be honest here, I tried recording this earlier and like my, I lost power in my house. Literally at the beginning of the video I was trying to record and I lost power. So the CIA is still up and at him trying to get me to stop playing this mod. So yeah, it's very weird. We got some comments to go through and at the end of the last episode I didn't know if, if another focus tree would load or not, but obviously we're here. So, right now we're doing the total failure of the Great Leap Forward, which is fake news, but, you know, whatever. And we're going to do some deep cover, or covert, deep reconnaissance tactics. Let's grab some SM plus SSH-40 for more defense for infantry. It's very good. Up next, after this one, I think we're going to go ahead and try to revert all economic changes, because currently we're kind of suffering from a famine. Uh, um, things aren't really great here in China, as some might say, but it is what it is, and, uh... The failure was greatly poor. Mao Zedong's plan to turn the People's Republic of China from an Nigerian society into a pinnacle of communist might has not gone as intended. With a lot of goals to surpass imperialists in the UK in only 15 years, Mao Zedong declared mass localization of industry and agriculture through backyard pig iron furnaces and intensive agriculture projects through uh, 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 intensive state projects on crops. Though there was little to no backlash to these plans at the conference discussing it in Lushan, the drastic consequences of the chairman's plans have made themselves clear. Crop yields in the first year were drastically lower than expected due to redistribution of work and catastrophic locust swarms that emerged in the wake of the misguided forecast campaign further. These lower yields were recorded at record highs due to the fear of scrutiny, fear of scrutiny of central authorities, meaning a non-existent grain surplus was taken from peasants who needed it to survive. In the course of the plan, upwards of 30 million have died across the People's Republic of China. The Chinese economy has crashed, and hostility towards the government has reached an unprecedented high. We can rebuild from this failure. Hopefully in the Quick sort algorithm, nice. Let's go ahead and get some integrated circuits, which we're actually trying to do. So we can do mega scale computers eventually, but we gotta do some basic computer auxiliaries. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Up uh, next, then we're gonna go and do after integrated circuits. Uh, mega scale computer will be really nice, but we need a basic computer auxiliaries right there to get that one done. So we're probably gonna go with satellite communication to get more mobilization speed, more maximum command power increase, and daily command power multiplier, which would be nice. And unfortunately, we still have a lot of resistance in like what was he not or something like that. So that kind of sucks, but that's why I put these people here. 20%. Um, last time we dealt with like changing up this militia template, which is actually not that bad. Um, yeah, just use this one for everything because it's really not that bad, right? So it's all it is. is Support equipment is just militia and military support. That's all it is. Ooh, not a map. Ooh, any more support equipment. That's not good. Um, if that's the case, let's see. Supporties. Where is our support equipment? There it is. Thank you. Keep going. Make some more stuff. We're doing really well in building stuff, building more infrastructure, some civvies, some millies, some office parks. Yeah, right now, I did look it up online. This part of Chinese history is not very good. Now, the People's Republic. Like, it's really, really bad. We had economic crash. We've had fit famine. Millions of people are dying. Our GDP is just kind of going down ish or stagnating. Our GDP growth rate is actually negative one point, negative a percent. So. It's not too good right now, but I'm going to go with dealing with the famine. I mean, right now, famine level 5 is really bad. We'll get famine level 4. We lose 100% monthly stability, or population, I mean. And we lose 25% stability. The other famine, famine level 5, is minus 30% stability, as well as minus 150% monthly population. So, it's not too good right now. It's not too good. So, we're trying to deal with that. Um, ooh, what is this? Integrated Gary and Bourgeoisie, which is not great. It's okay. Uh, here it is. Famine level 5. There you go. That's... That's not good, man. That's not good. We organize popular communes. We remove people's communes. We lose political power. But that's not terrible. Give every farmer a plot of land. Um, that's... That's not terrible. And remove high quotas. Carrier holes are nice. Let's get some light decks next. Uh, we're not going to deal with carriers right now, probably, so... So, propeller artillery. Let's get some better anti-air, because we love better anti-air. Uh, ration the people. We lose political power. Oh, oh, we have industrial collapse as well. Look at that. Oh, that's why. Oh my goodness. Industrial recovery. Remove underway reconstruction. You lose political power. You actually lose even more political power. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. End backyard furnaces. Invest in light industry. Reequip the households. Um, you still lose a lot more political power, which I don't like. Try to recover from the. De oh, yeah, how's this one? Try to recover from the departure of the PRC advisors. Um, obviously. We don't have a description here, but we get another research slot. I'm kind of okay with that. But yeah, this was a very intense period in Chinese history. Like, this is partly why they didn't get involved in the Vietnamese War or something like that. Because they were doing a lot of stuff here. And the mass collectivization of farms and stuff like that didn't go so well. So, 
as far as I as far as I looked up. So I could be completely wrong about that, but you, you never know. We're not making that much money. I'd love to go to like nominal warfare spin and get more political power and stuff, but. Don't think it's going to be here for now, but like I said, we do some comments to go through, such as... Ooh, there we go. I got this one done. Nice. Yes? Yes? Awesome. Uh, someone says we should turn the Cold War hot. We can not eventually. I mean, right now, we're just trying to build up and, like, make ourselves better, better, better. Because we're dealing with famine and whatnot right now. So, actually... Oh, were we supposed to create our own faction? I think we were supposed to create our own faction. Why are we not having our own faction? I think we were lied to, man. I want to create my own PRC for act faction, but whatever. Um, yeah... Maybe eventually, I'm not sure, we'll see, maybe not. Because I, I want to be f relatively historical, even though Vietnam's not having too many issues right now, but still. Um, let's go and do that one, yeah. Get another research, research slot. So, yeah, and then someone says we should play as the UK and defy decolonization. Or decolonialization. Probably decolonization. Yeah, I think that'd probably be a good thing to do. Um, France just gave up. They just, they just straight up gave up. The English are holding on, or the British are holding on, but still, still, this is sad, just sad. Ah, oh, colonization. Do you want to play as Tito though? It's such a big, big uh, Yugoslavia. But Khrushchev condemns the uh, Leningrad affair, and in an address to the Central Committee, Nikita Khrushchev condemned what occurred during the Leningrad affair. The Leningrad affair was a purge of leading uh, Leningrad Soviet officials by Stalin um, and secret. The secret security services. At the time, it was portrayed the Soviet people as a plot by the Leningrad officials to seize power. Khrushchev, in his remarks, noted the charges against the Leningrad officials, the Soviet officials, were either faked or fabricated by Leventria or Leventri, Leventi Beria under the direction of Joseph Stalin. He called on the rehabilitation of the surviving victims of the Leningrad affair, and in his remarks criticized several powerful Stalinists and the Central Committee. Khrushchev has not only brought to light the victims of a false purge by Stalin, but by implicating these Stalinists still sitting in the committee, including his rival Melenkov. He's weakened them and strengthened his own position. Interesting. Soldiers mutiny. All through the Congo. See? This is what happens when you make someone serve hand and foot. Ah, oh, boy. We still buy more stuff, actually. We can close out the religious stuff. Convoys. Eh, we don't really need any of this stuff, realistically. Oh, we're, oh the Congo's here. Patrice Lumumba. Boldly resistant to the Belgian imperialism. Humanist egalitarian. Vehemently against tribalism. An isolated political maverick. Mobutu appointed chief of staff to the Congolese military. I like his hat, though. It's a really nice hat. Carrier hold 2. That's a little better. Um, yeah, we'll probably actually want to start making stuff out of the carrier hold 2. I think that'd be okay. And then we get this research done as well. Improve our weapons. And get some more air attack. Would be nice. The Strela 2. Oh, yes, please. 39.8 billion. It's just, that's just not enough, man. We need more. We really need more office parks. Infrastructure's coming along. Which is nice. Don't get me wrong. More civvies would be better. I, I don't mind making infrastructure, but... <sighs> supply throughput... Actually, can you max this out here? And then can you max this out as well? Yeah, you can, actually, eventually. That's not bad. i like to max it all out eventually, but... Try to recover them and departure with PRC officials. Alatolia Komenai Exod. He sounds familiar. Huh, okay. Unsurprising. Congo appeals for UN intervention. Interesting development. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, let's do... Uh, that's not bad. People's communes. Ooh... Yeah, that's not bad either. We're making that stuff anyways. Many industrial... Oh, another... Oh my gosh, that's so good. I want to do the famine. Let's... Let's go ahead and ration the people first. We're going to lose some political power. Remove famine 4. Get to famine 3. I think that'd be okay. And Isla Tola... Unsurprising. Just... Another research slot. That is... Nice mouth, man. Um, just... I mean, that's great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many... How many research slots does America have, then? Like, if, they, if we have this many, they should have this many too, right? That only seems to make sense, right? I could be wrong, but whatever. Oh! Is it worth it? Hmm. Belgian sympathies? Interesting. Infamy is 100.25. Yeah, I don't know anything about Central Africa. Nationalists and Socialists. Okay, resource consumption, rights for the people, urban planning. Nothing down there, huh? Well, alright. Games of the 8th, or, uh, 10, 5, 2. 17th Olympiad, okay. Success. Kasai, oh, South. Air, and, air upgrades, nice. 
Um, oh, it's right here too. South Kasai is right here. I love this hat, man. Albert. Hello, Albert. Self alignment. Yeah, it's generic book of street for this mod. That's fine. Um, there's a lot here we can do. Ration for the people. I think that'd be good to get some more stability first. I mean, we're getting more every week, but it's not very much. I w oh, we get import wheat or export wheat to support industrial investments. Ooh, we get to famine three, really famine two. To care licensical theories, quackery. What? What? High quotas. But, oh, look at this. Something over UN forces. Congo lease off. An interesting development. Congo issues final ultimatum over UN forces. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's go reorganize heavy industry. Reorganize heavy industry description. We get two more military industry mili f manufacturers, which I think is good because we still need more millies. Hey, 41 billion. That's better. 0.55 is better than 0.44. We're almost at 0.56. Nice. So we get another research slot and we'll just... My goal, like I said, is just research, research, research. Where are we at for this right now? Famine 3. That's so much... Well, that's better. Not so much better, but it's better than Famine 4 or Famine 5, so... I don't make more money. Patrice Loop. Oh, deposed. An interesting development. What does it matter to Gascar get his freedom? The French already gave up, so... I'm disappointing you, France. I'm disappointing you, De Gaulle. Independence at Grandeur. Yeah, I don't know, man. You're kind of disappointing. I'll be honest. Yeah, that's why your country split up. Liberal conservative, Christian Democrats, Socialists, Social Democracy, Marxist-Leninist, and Conservative. Well, we actually send stuff to Vietnam, but... Where does Vietnam unite? If they're both communist? Or I guess Marxist-Leninists versus... Mar oh, that's Laos. Um, Marxist-Leninists. Oh, what happened to Ho Chi Minh? Soldiers mutiny. Alright. Um, well, it's Battle Royale Congo time. You're both Marxist-Leninists, so... We have a lot more influence on you guys. How much people do we get every day? 0.46? Sure, why not? We'll try it. Trajko Costa, the former head of the Bulgarian Communist Party, is posthumously rehabilitated and re readmitted to the party following a report by the Central Committee of the Costa trial. He had been arrested on charges of being an agent for Western intelligence agencies, undermining Soviet relations, and advocating nationalism at the expense of Marxist-Leninist unity. Following his arrest and ex execution, supporters of his and the party were also arrested and sentenced to long terms. The new embrace of de-Stalinization and has seen the Bulgarian Communist Party reassess these trials and establish commissions to look over these trials. They concluded that the mistake of the cult of personality had led to the wrongful conviction of Kostov and his supporters. Those who were still in prison have also been released and rehabilitated as well. Opportunistic. Wow, what happened here? Why is it so low now? 14 and a half? Wait, it's, yeah, growth rate. It's, it's better than before, but it's, it's not good. It's not good. So, let's go ahead and get some experimental nuclear engines. <laughs> yeah, the taxes are way lower. Oh, this sucks, man. I hate... Oh, my goodness, not good. Satellite communication would be nice, though. So, we get some more office park income. So, that'll be good. Reorganized heavy industry is fine. We'll get there soon enough. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, what happened? To oh, the GDP. Oh, the GDP. Oh, we were point five something earlier. Oh my gosh. Ah. Ah. Macroeconomics. National productivity. Whoa. It's got a lot of desks. <sighs> Bay of Pigs. The Mafia. Wow. Okay. All right. American Armed Forces, American Army, so... I guess we're going to see death of a president sometime soon-ish. Wow, that's a lot of PP gone. The Soviet Union clears out the gulags. The new Soviet leader, Nikita Khrushchev, seeks to consolidate his rule and ends what he views as the destructive policies of the Stalin era. As part of this effort, Khrushchev has ordered the release of millions of political prisoners from the dreaded gulag prisons. Khrushchev noted that many of those condemned were sent for the very minor offenses, or served their time, but were not released. The news has been well received across the Soviet Union, especially from the party members, many of whom have friends or family that were sent to these camps under the order of Stalin. On a more practical level, he numbered the prisoners had grown to dangerously high levels, and many reports of riots or uprisings from prisoners have been reaching Moscow. 
Gurdyshev hopes to alleviate this potential unrest and gain political credit from many in the Soviet Union who applaud this action. Excellent news. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can't influence them forever because we lost all that political power, but it's fine. Hey, we're 90, we're 97 percent. That's pretty good. We can pay off their debt. Do we get any more influence? We paid off the debt and someone died. Okay. Um, Congo. Yeah, Congo time. Okay, so we don't get any more influence. That's interesting. Good to know. I, mean, I can't believe their debt is probably not that high compared to us, like seven billion. I guess seven trillion. Australia two is very nice, very very nice. Um, can't quite do that one. Yep. Yeah, we're doing that one right now. Requisition Desert Heat ability. Um, that still seems all okay. How about over here? Supply usage even goes down. I think that's worth it. But we got educate the young. We'll have an, uh, another research slot. Cannon ammo. That's good. Let's come over here and get some more soft. 20% more soft attack, hard attack, and piercing. That's really strong. 20% is really nice to get. But my gosh, the economy's in the toilet. Jesus Christ. Mao, what'd you do? Return to status quo. Oh my gosh. Um, let's go with industrial recovery, maybe. Oh god. That sucks so much. Factory repair speed's nice to have and all, but my gosh. There you go, get some more light artillery if we need it. Arctic warfare equipment. I don't care. Just we have a lot more research slots now, so as long as we get more and more, we'll be okay. We're doing pretty well on equipment, though. All we need more trucks and a lot more support equipment. A lot more support equipment than light tanks. Um, supporties. There you go. And how's the economy doing? We're still making a lot of stuff, which is nice, but... We'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. Alright, happy 1961, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Anything else here? 6%, 6%. Oh, 31. Oh, my. Oh. Holy crap. Wow. Also, I do apologize if anything gets cut out. Like, just sometimes the things get like cut out because of copyright claims and such. So if we can't hear things or things just like jump suddenly, that's because of that. So apologies if that happens, of course. Apologies. So just for recovery and backyard furnaces. Which one is that one? So if it this is no. Uh, it's one of these. I, oh, we have high quotas. High quotas is okay. It's not bad. It hurts our stability, but that's not too bad. Oh, here it is. So we lose resources to the market and. Production efficiency cap. That's not terrible. I mean, we could still deal with that. Beginning of the reconstruction plan. The first Chinese atomic bomb. It's not bad, but... We get... Oh, 54. That's not bad. Um, I think I want to go with people's communes, maybe? Maybe? Maybe agricultural stuff. We get some more... I mean, honestly, like we've got enough food now. We don't have really a famine if we have a positive on food, right? 0.33, oh, that sucks, man, that sucks. So what can we do to upgrade this? Um, this is really hard to see. Sonar, uh, fire control sonar, 4.7, I guess. Twenty-two, twenty-four is nice. Reliability goes down, but whatever. Smoke screen. There you go. Um, light deck. 10% size, 10, 10. There's literally no difference. I don't understand. Why would we do that then? 10, 20. Um, yeah, that's better than what we have over there, so. I kind of want to wait to see what we get with this other light stuff. So let's save it for now. We're not going to make it yet, but we'll make it eventually. Um, what's over here? self propelled Oh. Well, we can throw more stuff on there if we need to. Hey, what else do we have here? Oh, increase FNLA funding. Okay, that's interesting. I thought in LA. People's liberation for, the, for these guys. Decrease? I guess we probably would increase it, right? Uh, MPLA, FNLA. MPLA. Okay, so who's who's what where? Portuguese Republic. Um, MPLA. PSA. Acabo.
Um, who the heck is FNLA? Because I've heard of MPLA, like these guys. PSA. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I don't know which one this is. That's what gets money. There you go. Have a have a billion. Ah, just have a casual billion dollars. See what you can do about that. Fifteen point three. Not bad. How are we building? Are we building up too much infrastructure, maybe? Now we're actually okay. You know what? Finish that one. You're close. You're so close to finishing that one. Pakistan launches blockade of Afghanistani border. All right. The International Confederation of the Free Trade Unions call for sanctions against South Africa. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. I have another billion. There you go. Um, I might be doing that wrong. Eh, it doesn't matter. We just throw money at Africa and hope it gets better, right? Hungary looks so small. That's just, that's just so sad. Your man looks really large. What's Kennedy up to? The Peace Corps? Alright. Real infrastructure. What's the UK doing? Macmillan, open negotiations with Rhodesia. Chris, see me a secretariat. Saudi Arabia. Oh, trying to improve living conditions. That's probably really good for them, right? I just want, I, I do want to lower fa the famine a little bit more, so develop fertilizers. Seems like a good idea, right? And Pedro State of Iran. You seem somewhat familiar, Mr. Pahlavi. Iraq, you have, wow, wow, your face is, why are you smiling like that? You're scaring me. You're scaring the kids, man. You're scaring the kids. Because after that, uh, improved artillery ammo. What's after improved artillery ammo? Heavy SP artillery? Might as well. Now soft attack is only 45. That's not good enough. Max speed is 10. That's not bad. 10's, 10's pretty good, actually. Of course, if you just throw them on infantry, that would be okay. But if you throw them on some other stuff, that would be okay as well. There you go. Thank you. And four more days left for self-propelled. I guess we'll get some more of this. More defense. More breakthrough. Just a little more soft attack and heart attack, though. But indirect artillery is not bad. Alright, do we have anything here that needs improvements? If not, then I kind of wasted that, but whatever. Eh, it's fine, whatever. After we develop fertilizer, we'll send the PLA to the fields, yeah. Lose some army XP, get famine 2, which would be better, but still. Hmm. Not great. Not great. How are we still training, guys? Actually, can we send volunteers down here? Light deck 2, huh? Oh, we can. 12, wow. Um, well, so it keeps doing that stuff. You know what? Regional militia. I want to send three first. Let's see what happens. Republic of the Congo. Um... There's a Congo. Wait, are you fighting two Congos? Katanga. Yeah, I guess... Wait, what is this? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just want at least a little bit of action, right? The Soviets are here, right? Yeah. Alright, give me... Well, they have no air bases too, so... Just send our guys over. I mean, it's gonna be really, really bad over there, so... Okay, so that's a little better. 0.43 is not bad. 27.7 billion is better than what we were just at, so I'm feeling kind of okay about that. Um, yeah. Looks like there's going to be a lot of attrition, though, which is not good. Naval Infantry 2, Juan 2. Yeah, I don't like... Why do we have light tanks in there, man? That armor probably doesn't help us that much, honestly. Um, yeah. Hmm... After fertilizers, of course, we'll send them to the fields. Uh, importing wheat would sounds like a good idea, but we'll probably export wheat to industrial developments. I think that's what they did. I like industrial parks. We'll see. We'll see what happens, though. Alright, so the boys have arrived in the Congo, and I'm sure they're loving the heat. Alright, so what's going on down here? Are they attacking someone else? No, they are just kind of hanging out. Can we do anything down here? Desert warfare. Well, what about jungle warfare? Special forces, paratroopers. I get more artillery attack. I kind of like that. Let's get some artillery attack. See what the boys can do. 
hanging out, having a good old time. Hey man, if you just want to move around, that's fine with me. And I just want you to go over here this way and take this stuff out. Fortification build up's nice. Hmm, jungle sucks, man. Jungle sucks so much. Let's tighten up a little bit more around here. As long as we don't move, we can't lose supplies, right? After sending them to the field, um, remove high quotas. Let's go reorganize popular communes. So get people's communes, which we lose more political power, lose get some more monthly population, max factories in the state, research speed goes up, f better free repair. I like that a lot. Um, religious stuff, no, no. That stuff. Okay, so invest twenty-five billion to industrialize pre-industrial states. Current budget twenty-five. So 90 billion per millions of population. Average 25 to industrialized pre industrial states. It doesn't seem like it's really affecting that too much though. Alright, send them to the fields, the rice fields. And reorganize stuff. Oh, okay. Currently 25, 50 billion. We doing okay down here? Kinda hot down here, I bet. There you go, head down here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So if we wanna come over here, something like ooh what was that? More ships. Nuclear reactors. Um, there you go. You can do that too. So if I come over here, like Shanghai, pre-industrial, right? Ole Miss. All right. So how do we improve this area? There you go. And get some of that first. Don't really care. Demographics. Wow. Wowzers. Oh, we can upgrade the state like this. Okay, so upgrade progress. Okay, so that costs a couple billion every month. That's interesting. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Wow, look at this. Well, it's pretty... It's not very good right now, but we'll do the best we can. That's where we're spending all of our money now. And I definitely do Beijing. Oh, we don't have the tech required. Okay. Tianjin. Application Zahia Khan. Oh, they're okay. It's industrialized. All right, so it's just costing us a lot of money to industrialize and such. I'm glad we actually do something with our money here. There we go. We'll do the best we can. Oh, oh! It, I just realized in the fifth episode it says agrobottom. Okay, okay. I was wondering where that was. Now I feel better. Oh my gosh! I can't believe it took me that long to figure that out. Oh, we're actually getting attacked. Monopulse radar, okay. Um, industry stuff, yeah. Some more output. And then we're gonna go ahead and do give every former plot of land. That seems like a good idea. All right, everyone. So we, apparently the Berlin Wall has been uh, built now. So, oh my, oh my. Oh, new welding method sounds like a good idea. Um, anything else over here we really care about? Not too much. Some more long short income. Why not? Also, we did finish up um, diminish. Uh, working hours, so we got removed high quotas. NATO refused Soviet offer. Tensions will get high. Interesting, interesting. Let's go ahead and do. We could remove famine. Hmm. Let's do end backyard furnaces. Why not? We might as well, right? Get ten percent more resources to market and five percent more production efficiency cap. And GOA, nice shorts, dude. Um, talks in the Berlin crisis. Let's hope this ends soon. Cool, cool, cool. And also, I sent more divisions down here, too. The Soviets and Americans pull back troops from the Berlin border. Will we be safe? Well, we'll see what happens. Also, I did lose a division down here. I didn't realize it, but we lost one division. Not sure how, but I guess it is what it is, you know. The Berlin crisis is over. West Berlin will be hours later. Very nice. Very, very nice. Kind of hold out, hang out here, do the best we can in Africa, because everyone loves Africa. Nothing bad ever happens in Africa, especially in the 60s. 
50s, 60s, 70s, you know, not, not, or 80s, too, even. Oh, my goodness. Bad supply. Attrition upkeep. Jesus Christ, that is so bad. Um, is it you guys that we're using here? No, you guys are 40 combo with. How about you guys? Yeah, you guys need some logistics. Y'all could really use logistics. Um, yeah, supply usage goes down by 30%. That's actually pretty good. We need more trucks and support equipment, though. Holy crud. We're out of that and trucks. Oh, my gosh. That is so bad. Okay, so th if that's the case, um, I'm going to extend you over like that, maybe. But can we not? Hello. Yeah, we can. There we go. Good. Get the heck out of there, man. You get the heck out of here, too. There you go. And tank ammo, too, is very, very good. A little bit ahead of time. That's fine. So we're done with this page. Land auction is... Well, it's earlier a little bit ahead of time, but... Oh, even less supply of which will be very good as well. That'd be very, very nice. Just getting out here. General Secretary Todor Zikov. The new General Secretary for the Bulgarian Communist Party is Todor Zikov. The former partisan commander rose to senior party ranks after being placed in charge of the Sofia Police Force. Zik Zivkov managed to take the position of General Secretary due to the embrace across many communist countries of destalinization after the Soviet Union announced the support of it. The old communist leadership in Bulgaria built their power along obedience to the Moscow line and Stalin, but with that approach now criticized in Moscow, their position became untenable. Zivkov managed to help maneuver the old leadership out of power and position himself as a top candidate to the position. He is expected to initiate policies and reforms to establish a Bulgarian version of communism, which is hoped to not just revitalize the party but gain its support across the population. Surprising! Very cool. And then Kamiade. Oh, we don't have a lot of stuff. Actually, can we buy any more support equipment? I, no, we're still working on it. God, that takes so long. Holy crap. It's fine. Go to 20. That's nice. Uh, nice. Let's go and keep doing investment light industry. Our GDP is now 0.56. Kind of back where we actually be, sort of began ish. Sort of. Oh, oh, there goes this. Set of Katanga. The Bali Kalnur Cosmodrome. Cosmodrome. Oh, look at this. Nice. Uh, as the Soviet Union expands its ballistic missile program and engages in the development of new systems, the need for a test and launch site has grown. To, this, to resolve this need, the Soviet government launched and opened a new rocket test and launch site in southern Kazakhstan called the Baikonur Cosmodrome. The massive facility, covering 90 kilometers, required the construction of new infrastructure and a new town to accommodate the required staff. More significantly, as the facility comes into operation, the Soviets have also designated the site as the main spaceport for the Soviet Union today. Technology and rockets for the space program will be developed and launched from the facility as well. The facility is located close to the equator, and its weather is said to be ideal for future rocket and space launches. The facility is being kept under intense security and secrecy to protect Soviet aerospace and rocket developments from also foreign powers. A proud day for the Soviet Union. I don't want to say we can beat these guys up, but I don't want these people to... Ooh. Um, maybe hang out here. I want these guys to starve and die. Ooh, what else do we have? 20? That's not bad. Um, yeah, I can buy 2,000 things of a support equipment. $200 billion, we got that. We, 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 need, we really need some more. I didn't know it was this bad. Oh, they're starting to starve. That's good. Trucks, trucks, trucks. Anything else? We don't have enough money. We need more money, man. Uh, I, I feel so trapped. There's not there's like nothing we can do about this right now. Even if we attack those guys, it would basically do nothing for us. So, Supply-wise, we're doing okay around here. Not great, but we're doing okay. After we've had last industry, we will re-equip the households and get rid of the beginning of the reconstruction plan. Consumer goods factory is 5%. Um, liberalization for now. Famine is still pretty bad. Um, yeah, that, well, that's what we currently have. Recon 3 Spiders is actually really good to get. Let's go ahead and grab some, what else? Signal companies? Military police, yeah. Reduces likelihood of a successful ride in occupied territories. Nice. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's come over here. The Directory War of Independence, very cool. Another conflict in India. Nice booty, dude. Or woman, or whoever. Um, wow. The Indonesian Caliphate. That looks kind of cool, even though we have no one here. How's resistance over here? 28%. Okay, so it's actually 0%. Now it's going up for compliance. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wait, are we actually suffering from supply issues down here? Why is it so bad? Oh, you're ex oh, you're exercising. I'm like, why is it so bad down here? All right, so we don't have a lot of political power. But we still might have enough to fully influence this part of Vietnam, right? And one foreign power projection. It went down. How much do we need? Okay, 98. We can't do any more, but I guess that's my goal. Influence them so much. Just influence, 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 influence. Now, you guys should be able to take these guys out. Yeah, look at that, buddy. We killed an American tank division. 0.61 trillion GDP. A coup d'etat in Burma. Nothing new. Just Burma being in complete chaos. Ah, gotta love it. Oh, br brigadiers, bridgers. Nice. Oh, that's coming along. Ship modules are not too bad. Flares? I don't know about that. 
How about better planes? It is 60, right? Yeah, let's get some better casts. Nice. And after Phil, PHL 63s, we love Phil's. Um, nothing else here, so that's good as well. Industry stuff. We got. I keep kind of ignoring this stuff. Or oh, nice construction speed. Let's get more construction speed first. Almost 50 billion. That's not bad. That's not. Oh, another encirclement. Wow. Soviet military aid of the FLM. The French had long exploited and abused the people of Algeria with a colonial project. Now the Algerians are fighting back with their organization, the National Liberation Front, or FLM. The FLM organizes peasants and other exploited people and leads them into an armed struggle against a violent French military bolstered by local collaborators. The FLM promises a new regime of socialism and economic equality for Algeria. To aid this effort, the Soviet Union has agreed to begin offering aid to the FLM. Soviet support will be crucial in helping the Algerians stand up against a modern French military. More importantly for the Soviets, undermining French rule and gaining Algerian support could prove vital in the long term. More significantly, aiding the FLN confirms with the Soviets' long-standing opposition to the imperialism and its exploitation of colonized peoples. A blow to French imperialism. A Russian liberation front. Oh, crap. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, as much as we love... Oh, well, they're looking good. Oh, actually, they're looking good over here. Liberation front. Um, oh, that's the Ethiopian Empire over there. Sultanate Afar. What happened over here, man? I don't know. FLN, FNLA, FLN. Oh, look what the Soviets are doing. They're trying to influence us. No, 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 no. Not today, guys. Not today. Guys, why are you. I guess you're using tanks. Yeah, that makes sense. Can I actually win there, though? No, we can't. Okay, okay. Don't do that. Oh, look at that. Just slowly dropping. Another American Black Cat division. Another tank division. Ah. Oh, is it not beautiful? A return of the status quo. I would like to get there, but differential analysis. Nice. Let's come back over to actual industry stuff and let's grab some of that. So after this, rebuild unmaintained agriculture, import wheat. I want to get rid of that. It makes more sense for us to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here. Political hostility towards Mao. Because we can remove him as chairman of the PRC. And diplomatic wilderness spell. Diplomatic spell in the wilderness. Increased tensions with the pair. The Albanian satellite. And Soviet support of Jiang Jing separatists. That'd be good to do. Spread anti revisionist thought to Eastern Europe. Well, let's do that one first. Nice, thank you. Alright, boys, go in. And we've just defeated another American tank division. Nice. We need more PP. We always need more PP. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Look at this. So, yeah, we did lose a division earlier, but hey, at least we're getting. So we're still in combat, right? We're becoming a jungle rap, a mountaineer, infantry leader, organizer, stuff like that. Very good. Can you actually win there? You should be able to win there. Yeah, look at that. Nice. We're actually winning in Africa slightly. Another encirclement. Oh, they want to—they want to escape. I just want to throw men at the battles, just all willy-nilly. But sometimes it might just work. Uh, I want you guys to hold. Go up this way. Just kill them off. Yeah, we're actually winning. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little surprised. So one, two, three, four. Office park, military. Not bad. Great job, guys. Great job. Now go back to the line. The Republic of the Congo must die. Who won historically? I have no idea. Don't ask me. So, yeah. Education still the most. Modular BOMs. Very, very nice. Let's grab some of the stuff as well. Predictive stuff. Was this mutually ex mutually exclusive? Alright, I guess we'll do this one instead. Taxes are still where they were earlier. Domestic stuff is so little compared to the education. God, why does education have to cost so much? Well, would you look at this? You only need one move in there. You go. Yeah, they want to keep attacking. I'm, I'm okay. With, I'm 100% okay with that. That's still looking so bad. And support commands looking very good now. But we need so many more trucks. Holy crap! We'll go down to two, I guess. But keep you there for now. You'll, you'll make enough probably. Oh my goodness, so much. After this one, uh, host pol halt political violence. I mean, yeah, we could do that. We could. But are we going to? Maybe. We can't do that one. That sucks. Um, go over here and do this one then. Hey, more more money. Yes, please. I think we want to get rid of... We, Marilyn Monroe dies. Pills blamed. Another victim for Hollywood. Pretty much. Let's go ahead and do the first Chinese atomic bomb. Show the rule that we are not a super backwards nation, right? 
Mao removed his chairman of the PRC. Although it was doubtless that the chairman Mao's good intentions with his greatly forward, his five-year plan has ended in utter catastrophe. In his attempts to overhaul agriculture and industrial production in the fledgling People's Republic of China, he has dealt uh, irreparable damage to a great nation. Although the government has done its best to cover up the results of its calamitous policies, outrage over both the mass famines, violence, and overall collapse of the economy are being directed at the chairman. Although he has been forced to abandon his great leap, many in the party are debating forcing Mao to step down from the presidency of the People's Republic of China, and even from the chairmanship of the CPC. Although he proved his merits in the People's War of Liberation, his failures have forced her hand. He has proven himself incapable of leading China. We'll see what happens. We need more money, man. God, that sounds like today. We all need more money, don't we? We could all use more money. Ratification of the Interim Iraqi Constitution The Iraqi government under the Prime Minister Ab al-Karim Qasim announced the ratification of the Interim Constitution. The new constitution approved in a referendum and presented by the cabinet declared Iraq a republic, Islam, will be the official religion and the document calls for Iraq to be ruled by Arabs and Kurds together. Executive authority lies with a three-member presidency council and this is overseen by the Legislative Ministerial Council finally. The judiciary is to remain independent from politics and should preserve Iraqi citizens' rights. Significantly, the constitution affirms Iraq's status as an Arab League member, but calls for the Iraqi identity to not be divided by ethnicity as it proves equal status to Arabs and Kurds. More importantly, the Constitution places citizens as a source of authority for the whole nation in stark contrast to the monarchical era where sovereignty rested in the royal family and power was kept among those at the very top. For the Kurds, the new government has already announced its intentions to provide amnesty to Kurdish fighters from the uprisings of the 1940s as a sign that Arabs and Kurds will run Iraq as equals. Schools have also been asked to accept Kurdish as an official language for the classroom alongside Arabic. Despite the concentration of power resting within the two councils, Iraqis are optimistic. The new constitution and guaranteed individual rights will usher a golden age for Iraqi political and social development. Interesting. We have nothing else to say but interesting. Huh. Oh, are you actually attacking? Guys, guys. Please. Don't. Concentrate your attacks. You have to concentrate them. I'm going to combat Soviet. Holy crap. Nikit Zagulushev, what are you doing? Oh, no. Since we're here anyway, we're going to spend some big money. Um, I want to keep industrializing like our nation. I didn't know this was a thing earlier, so I like this. I love industrializing our nation. Ooh, ships too. The 20th con uh, Congress of the CPSU. The 20th Congress of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union concluded after a meeting over 10 days. This is the first time held under the leadership of Premier, Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, and he chose to make the Congress a condemnation of the Stalin era purges and violence. Khrushchev, on the last day of the Congress, laid this out in a secret speech entitled On the Cult of Personality and its Consequences. In the speech, Khrushchev accused Stalin of having a cult of personality and criticized his purges over imagined threats. The speech also implicated senior Soviet officials at the time, who were instrumental in helping Stalin carry out his purges. The reaction to the speech has been mixed. Many praised Khrushchev for speaking the truth, while many hardliners are devotees to Stalin. The successful wartime Soviet leader have accused Khrushchev of revisionism. News of the speech is expected to shake the communist world to its core. Unexpected, but upgrade this anyways. Now we have no money. Oh, that's dangerous. But we should be able to make some real good improvements here, right? Really trying to or do so. The relevation of the doctor's plot. During a speech condemning the Stalin era purges, Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev revealed the famous purges of doctors which occurred shortly before the death of Stalin was actually based on fabricated evidence. He stated the doctors were innocent and were only saved by the death of Stalin. Khrushchev stated that Stalin had told the jury, judge, trying the case to give guilty verdicts and beat the doctors for their false confessions. More significantly, Khrushchev linked the plot to the anti-Semitism of Stalin along with the fabricated plot being the first, uh, first step in a party-wide purge. <clears throat> the revelation by Khrushchev has stunned many as the press. Under the direction of Stalin has made the case major news across the country. Critics of Khrushchev note he was a senior member during the time and was complicit with the plot. They suggest he is only speaking up now as a means to strengthen his political position. Did Stalin's paranoia have no end? Pretty much. Let's grab some power lines. Nice. Or at least some faster construction speed, because we're still doing okay here. Food is not an issue right now, which is awesome. Yeah, keep attacking us. Keep attacking us. See what happens. Watch what happens. You guys actually do well here. You actually might have success here. The Bunyaro dispute. Oh, hey, cool. There you go. Rebuild unmaintained infrastructure. Nice. Good stuff. Because we were going to build a lot of infrastructure eventually, right? That's right. That's 100% right. God dang, we need so many more trucks. Support is looking good, though, finally. Finally. Widespread pesticide adoption. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab some more stuff with... Sure, why not? I love construction speed. I want to focus more on industrial stuff instead of some of the other stuff we've been doing. Um, this looks really bad. Is that the UN or something? Oh, God. You guys are just going to lose immediately, guys. Why? This, this war in Africa is 
It's definitely a war. I'll put it like that. It's definitely a war. One day left. Rural pacification. Nice. So the rest of the stuff is a little bit ahead of time. Let's come back over here and grab some of this. Municipal infrastructure. Yes, please. Oh, that looks... Okay, you guys look extraordinarily weak right there. You... Oh, there's India. Is that Ireland? Yeah, it is Ireland. God, just so many proxy wars, man. So many proxy wars. 0.65 trillion. Not bad. Growth rate. Oh, it's looking so much better than it has before. So much better. So much better. So after that one, let's choose some Chinese engineers. The RG on construction technology. Nice. Uh, I, I don't want to have a famine anymore. We still have a famine, though. I want to choose this one. Because I think that's more historically, like, people starved to death because, like, the government took away the food or the people and stuff like that. So people, millions of people starved to death because I want to be historical, but importing wheat would be a good idea. That does, is not very historical, though, as far as I know. Can you guys actually win here? No? Okay. Just gotta hang out, then. Wait for them to attack us again. Super carrier holes. Nice. Um, heavy decks? No. Kia class? Oh, that's way too- Oh, that's way too ahead of time. Ah, I don't care about the light holes stuff. Uh, that's way too ahead of time as well. Industry stuff? Yes, more please? Yes? Maybe? No? Okay. I want to do that one, but we can't. Arr! Rocketry. Cruise missiles? Eh. Ballistic missiles? Might as well. We have a growing interest in uh, ballistic missile and rocketry. Yeah, I want to combat their influence. 5%, roughly 5% is not great. Yeah, close out of that stuff, close out of that stuff. That's fine for now. Assassination of Rafael Trujillo. Last night on May the 30th, El Jefe Chevrolet Bel Air was intercepted by a vehicle full of gunmen while en route to San Cristobal from Santo Domingo. The gunmen pulled <clears throat> up behind Trujillo's car on the deserted highway and tailed it tailed it before opening fire with the CIA-supplied M1 carbines. As Trujillo's car damaged car was ground to a stop on the highway's shoulder by his chauffeur, the vehicle containing the armed men pulled in front of it, blocking its path. An intense, although one-sided, firefight ensued between the gunmen and an armed Trujillo, along with his chauffeur, eventually wounded. He attempted to escape his bullet-ridden car, only to be gunned down in the middle of the street. The gunman then packed his body into the vehicle and sped away into the night, leaving the wreckage and blood behind for the local police to find. One less despot in the world! Does Verbal have anything to do with that? He might. If we move down here, that actually might be good as well. Yeah, I think we're winning this war. That's very weird. We're actually winning the war. It feels weird to win, you know? It feels weird. God, Soviet Union. I just want North Vietnam. Operation Power Pack. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. After importing wheat, we'll go and do Declare Last Single Series Quackery. Ah, just support. Yeah, it's better to support. Yay. We have some of that too. Nice. Anything else here? Soft propelled heavy. Oh, there's just so much. Maybe I, I shouldn't research all this stuff. Which one has the most soft? 78 soft tech. Jesus Christ. 45. I've got to go with this one. Eventually, if we have a big enough industry. Wait, artillery, rocket artillery, soft propelled artillery, and rocket artillery. Just that's so much soft attack. So soft. Oh, nice. 54 billion. If you're still watching, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, guys. Um, light tanks would be nice to do as well. 0.6. Actually, taxes have remained the same. We need more office parks. We're still doing it. We're still making some. You know what? Screw, screw the farms for now. The Tbilisi riots. Khrushchev's policy of destalinization would begin to tear down the cult of personality formed around the total around the totalitarian during his lifetime. But not all would approve. Many have come to see Stalin as his evils, or as a national hero who bravely led the communist world against the evils of the Axis powers and the imperial oppressors. Stalin remains especially popular in his home region of Georgia, where Khrushchev has grown increasingly unpopular due to its anti-Stalin reforms. Khrushchev's closed, uh, closed door speech to the 20th Congress, which rallied against Stalin and his Georgian loyalists, would only further cause frustration. In retaliation, on March 4th, Georgians would gather around a monument of Stalin to mourn the third anniversary of his death. Within the coming days, an organized protest movement against Khrushchev would begin to gain major traction thousands of people took to the street quickly. The situation has developed with many Georgian nationals calling for the secession of Georgia from the Soviet Union entirely. Georgian local authorities are entirely blindsided and wait for instructions from Moscow. Why would they protest such an action? You guys can kill these guys, probably. Right? There you go. Nice. Should do well there. Import wheat. Let's do this one. Quackery? It's only quackery if you don't agree with it. Overrule. Oh. Oh, ignore political power. Halt political violence. The resulting havoc. Oh boy, what is going on in Cuba? People's Republic of Cuba invites us to this faction. 
Once you're in the faction, you combine our force and fight against a common enemy. Um. Eh, I want a faction. We were denied our own faction for some god awful reason, so. Eh, why not? Cruise missiles, why not? We have the Sino Cuban Pact, the People's Republic of China, and Cuba. And flipping Cuba. I mean, my goodness. I like the purple. It's really nice purple, but still. This is so weird, man. Keep making that infra uh, those infrastructure, because we do get a bonus right now, so we must use it, right? God, I can't imagine fighting in the jungles down here. I can't imagine fighting, but just like in the jungles, too. Like, bro, the jungles have got to be so bad word hot, man. So after the quack theories, we'll probably do Chinese engineers. There we go. That's probably what we're going to do. Not bad. Not bad. Mouse still here. He's still having a good old fuddy time. Um, anything else we really want? Ooh, float glass. Not bad. Ooh, it is 62. I want to get some, uh, the fossil energy. Spacecraft stuff? So much stuff here. Data transmission? Sure, why not? We'll figure out what that's all about. 500 billion some. Half a trillion. I want to attack there. I really do. Can we actually win here, though? What happened to our allies? Are they supposed to be around here? Not bad. So far, we're winning. He hasn't really upgraded anything. He's becoming more of an infantry leader and jungle rat, but still, that's forest. He's level 1, so we should win, right? Campbell, Petty, Mor Fitzmaurice? They do have more intel, or intel advantage, but that's not going to save them, so. Nice. Hey, we actually won a battle. Look at that. This mod reminds me of the end of the new beginning. It's just so long. Very long. Okay, so you guys actually might win here. If you guys can move... Just go in here. Cut him off from the capital. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, keep attacking, guys. Keep attacking. I love it. I love it. Five days left. First generation nuclear power plant. I like that. Experimental nuclear... Oh, hello. Wait, there's... Oh, there's chemical... There's chemical warfare. NB... NBC weapons. Mustard gas, napalm, white phosphorus, and weaponized anthrax for abilities in WMT attacks. Nice. Ah, nothing like a Chinese way to blow up the world. Or develop diseases that might hurt people. I know we're not, not doing paratrooper stuff, but still. Wait. Wait. Uh, dangerous man. Okay, so this is his inaugural address. <sighs> a man with such words. I thought he, he was a... Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, F and L and A. Oh, maybe we want to decrease investment then. Oopsie. Okay, Verity. I'm going to let the Soviet Union deal with that stuff. My bad. F L and A. Oh. Yeah, we probably did the wrong side then. Ah, whatever. Who cares? Oh, we're not doing a focus? What? Why are we not doing a focus? Where's that one? There you go. My bad. Yeah, we technically were going to lose. Um. Guys, are you doing anything up here? Like, what's going on? I mean, you guys are moving. You took their capital. Where's the next capital? Is it down? Oh my gosh, it's all the way down there. Jesus Christ. Guys. 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 Why? Hey, 75% 75, 75 stability is pretty good. Anything else? Improved grid efficiency? No, that's okay. Um, I guess we'll go with this one. Fossil energy would be very good. Fossil fuels resource I put. Yeah, we're almost there. There we go. Nice. After this one, we'll probably do the failure of the anti-party group. Uh, following the public denouncing of Stalin by Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev. Look at that one. Uh, he has provoked a lot of anger from Stalinist-era officials and others who view Khrushchev as hypocritical considering his senior position during the purges he criticized. A faction of these men has formed a cabal that includes Grigory Melenkov, Lyacheslav Molotov, Lazar Kaganovich, Dmitry Shepilov, among others. The group tried to depose Khrushchev in a dramatic meeting of the Central Committee in which Khrushchev called the group the Anti-Party Group. Before the vote took place, the defense, uh, Soviet Defense Minister, War Hero Gregory, General Gregory Zukov, threatened to destroy the Anti-Party Group even if their vote succeeded due to their crimes under Stalin. However, the vote failed and Khrushchev had to decide where to demote the Anti-Party Group members to. A blow to the old god. Yeah. Open the Dakqing Dak Dak oil fields. That would be really nice to get, because right now... We're minus 65, which is really bad, but, you know, it is what it is. Three days left. What about a mango hill? Mango, not mango, but man mango. Ma 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 mango. So now you took that capital. How close? They've got to be not that close to capitulating, right? 
Oh, nice. Trunk roads, nice. Um, no, we're not gonna do this stuff yet. It's just a little bit too out of time for me to really want to do it, so. Tanks? We have medium tanks. We got a lot of this stuff. There you go. Get that. Type 62s. I really don't think we can win here, can we? Yeah, no. This looks really bad up here. But these guys are doing well over here. They're just... They're just I don't know. We're actually winning. Oh, we're actually winning. Look at that. We can pierce some nice. The Mosul uprising. A blow to Nasirism. A Nasirism. Hello. Kurdistan, how you doing? Kurds, no faction, Mustafa Bazani. And Mr. Smiley Man. Wait, Nas oh wait, oh! I, did they actually unify as a country? I guess they did. Cracked on the Russian Orthodox Church. Born a peasant, Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev always viewed religion with suspicion. He deeply embraced the Marxist critique of religion and saw as a principal threat to the Enlightenment and socialist development of the people. Khrushchev saw the, uh, uh, so saw the lifting of religious restrictions during World War II as a mistake and upon taking powers launched a new wave of crackdowns on the Russian Orthodox Church. Many churches are being shut down, attendees of church services are being re recorded, parents are restricted on what religion they can may teach children, and children are banned from attending services. In addition to these new restrictions, priests violating any of the regulations are being swiftly arrested while those vocalizing complaints are also facing questions or detention by the state. De Stalin's issue continues and Kaganovich and Shipilov exile beyond the Urals. Uh, both men were both senior party members involving, involved in the recent attempt to dispose Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev. They had attempted to vote him out of power during the Central Committee meeting, but the vote failed, and they were defeated. After losing the vote, both Kaganovich and Shepilov have been sent to small industrial institutions beyond the Urals as punishment. These former senior party members have been greatly reduced in status and position, however. Khrushchev noted that if they had attempted what they did to Stalin, the punishment would have been far worse. The time will tell these two men can never be reconciled with Moscow, or this marks the end of their careers. But they will live on in... TNO and other mods. Huh. Hey, you know what? If we can win. Thumbs up for me, man. Thumbs up. Fat thumbs up. So you guys are trying to count with, right? Um, I would love to use artillery support. Heavy artillery support. That'd be so nice. Ooh. Special forces? Can we do that? We don't have enough... That truck's looking a lot better. Yeah, let's get some more of that. I'm still learning basically this mod, but, you know, I'm getting better at it, slightly. Not great. I'm really not great at this mod, but we're learning. Oh, yeah, keep attacking us, guys. Yeah, keep it up. And these guys are finally actually doing something here. 0.67 is not bad. That's really not too bad. Building more infrastructure, get, building more of this stuff up as well. Uh, you're so close. You might as well get it done first, right? April 12th. Give it, like, five. Oh, I love this. We're actually getting army XP and stuff like that. Yay. Learn. Congolo. Hopefully that's an... Is that urban? The closing of the Russian monasteries. As part of the anti-religious campaign of the Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, the Soviet government is closing a record, no record number of monasteries. Russian monasteries, to be exact. Any members who complain or do not obey orders to shut down are being arrested and prosecuted by the state for disobeying the law. In addition, the new regulations ban pilgr pilgrimages, which has hit some of the more popular monasteries. But these closures are part of a wider crackdown on the Russian Orthodox Church. Sources in the government indicate the Soviet government may be looking to close two-thirds of the existing churches from when Khrushchev came to power. The government states it is simply enforcing already established laws and point out that the church has contacts with foreign troops and can act to undermine the Soviet Union from the inside. Unfortunate. But at least we have no more famine now. But a return to the status quo. Reconstruction planning is gone. It'll be gone. Oh, okay. Thank God. So we get more political power, better consumer goods, more stability, more war support, more mobilization speed. Cap, I'll put good stuff, my friends. Good stuff to get rid of. Or good stuff to get through. So, here, build some nuclear bombs and whatnot. A Molotov appointed ambassador to Mongolia. Valya Cheslav, Molotov, one of the leaders of the recent attempt to dispose of Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, has been appointed the Soviet ambassador to Mongolia. This is punishment for his role in the plot after the Central Committee voted against deposing Khrushchev. The former Foreign Minister of Stalin and long-term senior Soviet leader has been banished and humiliated by the disappointment. Khrushchev believed that this is just punishment for his attempted overthrow and noted that under Stalin the punishment would have been far worse. Although Molotov has been defeated and the Stalinist era continues to be assailed by the Khrushchev government, he remains convinced that he and Stalin acted in the best interest of the Soviet people. Quite, of course, unsurprising. Yeah, Sweden, you keep attacking and see if you lose, keep, keep lose, losing those men. I saw a picture on Reddit. It was like some guy, some Swedish, I think it was a Swedish mercenary fighting the Congo. And just smoking a cigarette with two bullet holes in him. Kind of wild, man. But, you know, basically for this entire episode, we had reversed the Great Leap Forward and try to get out of um, a famine. That's basically this episode for three years. And we try to dispose Mal. Should we dispose Mal? I think he was just kind of disposed, so we might actually try to keep going with that idea, so. We'll see what happens. Um, carry rolls. Yeah, I guess I'm jet cast. Why not? 
Oh, can we? No. Oh. Recon plane arenas, huh? Torpedoes? Here. Yeah, grab some torpedoes. No, we can't. Gosh darn it. Okay. Screen aviation? No. Okay, gosh darn it. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, I don't care. Just research something. I, I really don't care. Generation. There you go. That's not bad. Now you can drop you to the bottom because we're still trying to get some better infrastructure here, right? Oh, look at this. So nice. So nice. And return to the status quo. Oh, please, please, please. Ah. Uh, the economy's doing okay. What are, is there a way to see the entire GDP of everybody else? 1155. Largest world tension has been generated by the best Korea. Okay. Type 62s are nice. Mech Marines. I mean, I technically, I do want to research everything by the time of the, the end of this campaign. It's just my strategic initiative. Universality. Tactical integration. Oh, I kind of want to go with this one. Let's try this one. Tactical integrity. We'll see what happens. Actually, do we have any air bases? Um, maybe? No, we don't. No, we don't. Gotta love Africa. Lighting threes. Lighting fours. Thank you. Stand in the school, horse, school house door. What will come of this? Demise of the Kenya Land and Freedom Army. Interesting. Interesting. Mau Mau. I return to the status quo, my friends. And then, overall President Liu's opposition. Denounce spontaneous capitalist tendencies. Mobilizes the youth to support Mao. Um, we can another research slot. Strip Mao? Attempt to store up Mao as a one true leader. Um, I'm not really sure. I guess I'm going to try to do everything here, but we'll see. The Little Red Book. So, I think we're just going to do this one first. So, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm probably leading this down a really bad route, but seek African friends? No. Let's go ahead and do some increased tensions with the tiger. No, we'll probably... I, I don't know, because uh, I guess we'll do both. We'll do all these. So I'll probably do a strip mal of administrative power. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. As hopefully we'll finish off Africa and continue making China the best place to be on the Earth. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.